Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky and welcome back to another doll review. In this video I have the Jax Pacific DC Superhero Girls Bumblebee who is super large like their Wonder Woman, the giant Bumblebee action pose doll to review. And also I'm going to uh, do a quick comparison at the end next to the Mattel version of Bumblebee, which is much smaller, but just quick, I wanted to show you the um, similarities and differences other than, of course, the size and her outfit and just the take that Jax and Mattel did for the same character. Here is a look at the back of her box. shows you what all is included. You get the doll, her cuffs, her jetpack, her shoes, and a doll stand. And then the other ones they have out are Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Supergirl. Here's a look at Bumblebee's face up close. Once again, they put the glitter on the upper eyelid, and she has bright pink lips. And they also have the glitter in the inside corner of her eye again, and it's once again, kind of looking like it's just on the white of her eye instead of on the skin. She does have a star in her eye and brown eyes with light pink dusting on her cheeks as a blush. Her brown and orange blonde hair is very, very soft. Oh, so soft and curly. And the one side has two little braids in it. Um... That's the side that's supposed to be very, like, tight and braided to, um, this side. Uh, but it's, it's kind of, it's loose. It's not done that great. But the rest of it is super, super curly. And it's very soft and nice to touch. Lots of curls. Very, very soft. I love her hair. Here's a look at her wing backpack. It is removable. You can just pull those straps out and you can take it off. Going down into her outfit, the top and the pants are sewn together, so it is actually like more like a jumpsuit. The top has long sleeves with a black material with silvery glitter on the sleeves. And then the front panel is gold with gold glitter over top. And it looks like honeycombs. The the gold glitter, I have to say, though, um, is not falling off or coming off on my fingers. I don't see any glitter coming off. So the one thing that bothers me, though, is this part, this white part in the middle. It is supposed to look like a belt which is on her art but it ends up looking the way they did it it ends up kind of looking like either the white of her shirt is coming out or underwear is peeking out I think they should have definitely just had a belt here instead of including it into the shirt um, as that because it doesn't look that aesthetically pleasing to me that way and then we have the pants which I really love her pants it's again like a vinyl thicker plastic material and the print on them is pretty cool uh, there's this gold stripe going down the front and then you have the honeycomb pattern again in this gold glitter and this gold glitter you can tell has been treated on top and none of the glitter comes off when you rub it. You don't see any glitter. So that's always nice when you don't have glitter rubbing off on clothes or toys. It also has these two wristbands that are blue with yellow bumblebees on them. And finally we have her sneakers which are orange with black accents. She has a star on the tongue of each sneaker. 
this giant bumblebee also comes with a doll stand. And yes, she does stand completely fine, balanced on her own without the doll stand. But I do appreciate the inclusion of one, given her size. I think um, with dolls, it's always better to include a doll stand and not need it when than to need one and not have one included. Okay, so here is Mattel's next to Jack specific giant version of Bumblebee. And in the face, I had a really hard time choosing which one I like better. But I think overall style, I kind of like Mattel's version a little better. I'm not really thrilled with the glitter on Jack Specific's makeup that they just seem to want to put on each one of these giant DC superhero girls. Next we come to the hair, which for Mattel's version, the one side, you can see it's not shaved. It's very tight braids. There's three of them. Mattel didn't even try to do the braids. They just molded and painted those. And then on the other side, she has the brown and the golden blonde um, hair. Uh, not very, like, not super curly, just waves. And then for the giant bumblebee, she has really, really a lot of curls. And then for that side of that hair, they try to do some braids, but they're not super tight. It doesn't look really tight to the head. There's two there. So, um, while I like that they tried to do it, they didn't do it successfully, and, um, it was a little disappointing. So, for the overall outfit, if going by the artwork, neither Mattel nor Jack Specific in their outfit 100% replicated it perfectly, but I think Mattel did make it a little closer to the image. Um, the pants are more like the artwork of Bumblebee from the show. And the top is a short sleeve top. And except for the two black polygons and the white of the belt, I think it's closer in the top. And her um, gauntlets look more similar than the Jack Specific. But overall, I think I prefer Jack Specific outfit. I think it looks cooler. And I think it easily could be a Bumblebee outfit, just not the one seen in the show. Like an alternate outfit. The only thing that bothers me is that white part that's supposed to be her belt. But it does not come off as a belt to me. But her pants are really cool, the rest of her top is really cool, and she looks really cool in it. And just so you guys can see the size comparison between these two dolls. Alright, so these Jack Specific Action Pose dolls are very poseable too. Um, they have joints in the shoulders, elbows, wrists hips, n knees, and also there is a chest joint too. So they are very poseable. And um, my overall rating of the Bumblebee from 1 to 10, 10 being the best. And again, this is my own personal opinion. Yours might differ, which is perfectly fine. Um, the downsides that I could, that were cons for me were um, again the shirt issue there and the fact that her braided hairstyle I don't think was very successful and also I didn't much like the glitter on her eyes so those were the three downsides for this doll for me so but other than that I still really liked her so I'm gonna give her an 8 out of 10 so thank you guys for watching this doll review, and I'll see you next time. Bye!